Hi, this film is about chronic psychotic disorders. These are similar to acute psychotic disorders, but the symptoms in this case must be present for more than three months. Quite often such persons are brought to a doctor after many years because not many believe that this is an illness. But do you know that these are manageable? Well, let's hear about this from our expert. Hi. Chronic psychotic disorders are long-standing illnesses where the person loses touch with reality. The signs and symptoms include a significant change in the person's functioning from the previous healthy self, difficulties in thinking or concentration, hallucinations, which are false perceptions, for example, hearing voices when no one is around, or seeing things that aren't there, or experiencing abnormal sensations, for example, having unusual objects inside one's body, delusions, which are firmly held beliefs that are not in keeping with the person's social or educational background. No matter how much logic or evidence you give, the person will stick to his or her beliefs. Apathy, withdrawal, poor hygiene, or strange behavior that may lead to problems relating to work, studies, or interpersonal relations. Some families may seek help because of apathy, poor hygiene, withdrawal, and strange behavior. You can make a diagnosis of chronic psychotic disorder if any one or more of the following features are present for more than three months in the absence of an organic mental disorder or persistent mood change. The features are hallucinations, false perceptions during the wakeful state, delusions, firm and fixed unshakable beliefs that are not shared by people of similar social and educational background, marked disordered thinking, strange or disjointed speech, gross behavioral disorganization, for example, stupor, associated features, social withdrawal, suspiciousness, aggression, agitation, or bizarre behavior, and labile emotional states. The management of chronic psychotic disorders starts with counseling. The family or the caregivers must understand the illness so that they can promptly seek medical care whenever required. The patient may also be counseled if his or her condition permits. The following information can be disseminated through counseling. Agitation, aggression and strange behavior are symptoms of mental illness. Medication is a central component of treatment. This can reduce current difficulties. The antipsychotic drugs do have side effects like any other, but these side effects can be managed and controlled by other medicines. Family support is essential for compliance with treatment and effective rehabilitation. The family should watch out for relapses, which must be reported immediately to the doctor. Medicines can prevent relapses. The patient should be encouraged to maintain hygiene. Avoid stress and provocation for the patient. Do not argue with his or her psychotic thinking and avoid criticizing him or her. This information will help the family understand the illness and the patient better. For pharmacological treatment, antipsychotic medicines are used. Risperidon tablets or injections, 4 to 6 milligrams per day, are very effective. The dose should be built up gradually in a week, starting with 2 milligrams per day. If risperidone is not available, try haloperidol, 5 to 10 milligrams a day, as an alternative. Symptomatic relief should be achieved with the minimum possible dosage of drugs. Medication should be continued for at least 6 months after the first episode and longer after a subsequent episode, at a lower dose if necessary, to balance the side effects. In case of failure on the part of the patient to take medication as requested, Long-acting injectable antipsychotic medication, whichever one is available in your area, may ensure continuity of treatment and reduce the risk of relapse. We know that medicines do have side effects. For antipsychotics, the common ones are acute dystonias or spasms, for example, of the neck muscle. These are managed by benzodiazepines or anti-Parkinsonian drugs, like injection promethazine, 25 to 50 milligrams, intramuscular. Akathisia, or severe motor restlessness. This is managed by reducing the dose of antipsychotics or by using beta blockers. 
Symptoms like tremors and akinesia are managed with oral anti-Parkinsonian drugs like trihexyphenidyl 2 to 4 mg per day. Hey, do you know about neuroleptic malignant syndrome? Well, it's a rare but serious side effect of antipsychotic medications. So what will you do if your patient develops that? Well, just watch the film on acute psychotic disorders in this series and you will find all the answers. Okay? So now back to the expert. Thanks for that information. Please do check it out. And remember, do consult a specialist if the patient is suicidal, the patient is so agitated or suspicious that he or she poses danger to others, the illness does not respond despite giving treatment for a period of up to three months, or the patient has persistent side effects. That's all for now. I hope this will be of some help to you. Good luck. If you have already watched the film on acute psychotic disorders, then you will see that the major diagnostic difference between these two is the duration of symptoms. Even treatment-wise, they are quite similar. Anyway, if you have missed out on any point, Please feel free to watch it again, else enjoy any other film in this series. Bye for now.